Hi everybody, it's Miss April. Thanks so much for joining me here today. We are closing out our Read Across America week with one last story time from me. And today, as you probably don't know, <laughs> is National Grammar Day. Kind of a strange holiday to celebrate, but it's one very near and dear to my heart. Um, once I found out it existed because I studied English in university and I'm still a really big reader. Of course, I did all of the reading and analyzing the books that you probably um, associate with being an English major, but also did a lot of grammar and did a lot of like editing papers and things that may not sound fun to the general public, but was really fun to me. So I thought I'd choose a book today that kind of goes along with grammar in a little bit of a more fun magical twist. We are going to read Word Wizard by Cynthia Falwell. So let's get started. Word Wizard by Catherine Falwell. Early one morning, Anna was eating breakfast. She dipped her spoon into the bowl. The cereal letters spelled Dawn, D-A-W-N. Anna watched the letters float around the spoon. Now they spelled Wand, W-A-N-D. Magic, said Anna, finishing her breakfast. And with the magic spoon for a wand, Anna became a word wizard. Anna became, began to change all kinds of words. You see, she changed pat to tap, flea to leaf, star to arts. And if you notice, all of the same letters from one word make up a different word. A small sad boy appeared next to her. Hi, she told him, I'm Anna, and I'm a word wizard. I'm Zach, said the boy, and I'm lost. I'll help you, said Anna. With a wave of her wand, Zach's tears, along with the M that had lingered in her spoon, you can see the letters changing, changed into a gentle stream. Oh, how nice. The stream flowed into a wave-tossed ocean. Oh, this won't do, said Anna, and she re rearranged ocean, O C. E A and into canoe, C A N O E. Then she and Zach paddled peacefully to the shore. A quick wave of her spoon turned shore, S H O R E, into a horse, H O R S E. That's a, I love how the horse is the same color as the sand. That's a nice touch. I'm tired and hungry, cried Zach, following in Anna's tracks. Watch me, said Anna, and she changed track, T-R-A-C-K, into a cart, C-A-R-T. She gave Zach the leftover K to munch on. That must be tasty. <laughs> Suddenly, <gasps> a beast appeared. Zach's sword was no match. Uh-oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Anna grabbed the K just in time, and she turned... The beast, B-E-A-S-T, into basket. Oh, B-A-S-K-E-T. He's not so much of a scary monster after all. That was close, said Anna. Away they rode. But the road was blocked by a large stone, S-T-O-N-E. Time for a little music, Anna said. And the stone became notes, N-O-T-E-S. They began to sing along with the music. With Zach's help, Anna changed sing, S-I-N-G, to wings, W-I-N-G-S. And away they flew. I'm still hungry, said Zach. Sour lemons grew below. Uh -oh, those don't sound very good. So, of course, Anna changed the lemons, L-E-M-O-N-S, into melons, much tastier, M-E-L-O-N-S. Yum, said Zach, wiping juice from his chin. He looked around. Oh, I'm home. Goodbye, Zach, said Anna. But wait, cried Zach. What if I get lost again? Well, this time you'll be able to help yourself, Anna said. She waved her wand and changed Zach's sword, S-W-O-R-D. Let's see what she changes it into. Into words. Look at all the beautiful words there. The end. 
Thank you so much for joining me here today as we read Word Wizard together and learned how to spell a couple of words. If you'd like to check out all of our other videos here on our Facebook channel and over on our YouTube page, please feel free to do so and give that video a big thumbs up. We hope to see you very soon and I hope you enjoyed Read Across America Week. Goodbye!